Hi! Good morning! Happy Wednesday, friends! Um, it's another sweat sesh with Rebex. How are you? All is here. Hi, honey! <laughs> can, see her, can see her tiny little ears. Um, she's, she's very into working out this Wednesday. Hi, friends! How are you? Good morning! We're gonna get into some stuff. What do you say? Um, it's crazy out there, kids. Uh, <laughs> may, may, maybe you're feeling a little like this puppy and you're just waking up and that's great. Or maybe you're feeling like this banana and um, you're ready to control what you can control, which is not a lot but certainly one's self. So that's what we're gonna get into today, my friends. If you've gotta wait, um, we'll lightly load a few things today, but as always, please join us um, in the old body weight styles, because that's great too. You don't have to have fancy toys. Um, but for my kettlebell people, we will get into a little bit of, a little bit of something somethings today. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> All of them this banana are just gonna hang out. Um, good morning! Hello! Hi, 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 hi! <laughs> oh, is that her name? Do you know her? I don't even know. I was like, Banana Dominatrix, sign me up! <laughs> Iris, so nice to meet you. She's gonna whip us into shape today. Just kidding, friends. Um, we are... <clears throat> We are taking care of ourselves. And if that means uh, you want to whip it into your own shape, then fantastic. Oh, Iris, oh, Olive. Yeah, Olive, Olive's been really into working out today, and therefore, um, that means it's going to be a great time, friends. Are you ready to get a little warm? A little warm? <laughs> Olive, I feel like we're a little crooked here. Let me just be slightly perfectionistic and even this out a bit. But I am, um, do grab that weight. If you got a little weight, there, we'll leave it there. Do you have a kettlebell, a dumbbell, um, a human body? That's all you need, that's all you need. You ready for this? <laughs> but set that weight to the side, let's just Warm up a little bit, friends, here. So one of my favy, favy ways uh, to get the fire going is I'm gonna start here, if it feels okay for you, sitting on the knees, you can always tuck the toes if you like, but I'm gonna thrust these hips forward, see if I can lock it out as I dip it back, maybe a teeny tiny to start, and then dip it back. Nice, yes, ba-ba. I'm sure that banana is from some interesting uh, stop motion. <laughs> Situation, but let's do five more here. Yeah, really holding on to that hip lockout and then sit her down, lock it out, dip it back, ah, and set it down. Ha ha, so good, so good. Ha, dips. Um, did I say seven? Did I say two? Let's call this last one there and let it go. The quad fire starts real fast. If you're feeling it right here, uh, doing it right, friends. And then let's come up to standing. Let's just find the hamstrings. So many ways to find the hamstrings. But today I'm gonna kick one leg forward. My back knee is bent. My front leg is straight. Heel down, toe comes through the nose. Booty back, booty back hands reach and I should feel this a bit in that long leg. Yes, you can always come out of it. Come back in. Good morning hamstrings. Yes, we'll do a little bit of, oh good morning. Uh, hello. Yes, be the ass of banana. We're, tr we're trying to whip it into shape you guys. Heel down, toe up. Just finding a little hamstring stretch here. So really send the hips back. You might not reach the toes. Totally fine. I just want to feel the back side 
of the thigh there. And then let's put the legs together. Just a good old hinge. I'm reaching for the floor. Uh-huh. Booty straight back. Yes, nice. Again, knees are going to stay back here. If you do not reach the floor, that is totally fine. Ah. Ah. Um, friends, I don't know if you uh, engaged in the, <laughs> the madness. <laughs> that is our national dialogue last night. <laughs> but... We're just, we're just gonna come on here to say, you know what, <laughs> we, can, we can do what we can do. And that's vote, that's vote, motherfuckers. Um, pardon my language, just kidding. <laughs> let's, let's come on down to the floor. We're gonna, I'm sort of teasing a few moves here very gently as we warm up. Well, let's come down to the floor, checking in with the hips. I love this one. It's just a little windshield wiper with the knees. So knees all the way to the right, knees all the way to the left. Maybe getting a light little twist in the low back if that feels good. Again, never pushing through any pain. Ah, just a little side to side. Just a little waking up these hips there. So yes, very nice, very nice. And then we're gonna stay on the back here. If you're with me, bring those legs into a tabletop. I'm gonna bring the hands behind the head. A very slow, opposite elbow to the knee as the leg extends. As slow as you can, we're just going to do a handful here. This is a warm up, a warm up the core. Hi. Good morning, friends. Ba -da -da. Just two more each side. And then I should probably turn off that banana. <laughs> She's really matching my hair, you guys. But a bing, but a boom. Excellente. Oh, are you ready to get into this? Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, man. So, <clears throat> so silly. Yeah, sexy banana. Yeah. I'm very pro banana. Some people feel like bananas have a lot of sugar. I, it's fine. It's fine, you guys. Potassium, fantastic. <laughs> Just kidding. I posted something telling you I'm not a nutritionist. Trainer, not a nutritionist. I will never tell you what to eat. Um, let's check in with the balance, though, shall we? So I'm gonna find <clears throat> balance on one leg here. We're just gonna slide this back, hinging at the hips, reaching for the ground. Now, if you're up for it, float that back leg. Oh, hello. Slow and gentle. This is still your warm up, friends. So if you're just joining us, we are gonna use a little bit of weight today. Weight is always optional, of course. But grab that kettlebell, grab that dumbbell. <laughs> Grab that laundry detergent, because uh, we'll get taken off here in just a few more reps. Oh, hello, balance. It's hard to talk and look at a camera and do a single leg Romanian. Let's just balance it out. So again, I'm truly just checking in, checking in with the balance. I like the eye gaze to um, stay rather fixed. It helps a little bit with the wobblies. You feel me nice and slow here. Again, we're taking it, we're easing in to that hamstring. Feeling as you come forward, let's just do two more on this side, and then we shall party. Bada ding, ah, bada boom. Okay, are you ready for some weight? Ready for some weight? We like the heavy things. We love the heavy things. So coming on down here, I'm gonna do this move from the knees first time. We might do it standing as we progress. But if you have a little weight, I'm going to, um, of course you could do doubles here. You could get real rowdy. I'm gonna choose a single bell and then grab her by the horns, bottoms up style. Much like that first move, our little, uh, our little thruster here, right? I'm gonna, <laughs> and make sure your knees are comfortable, friends. Again, you could do this from standing, but I'm going to sit down as I thrust the hips forward, just in that way, all the way overhead. Yes, powerful, all the way overhead. Make sure at the top, I'm not leaning back, right? I want to keep the rib cage down, hips 
are locked out. Friends, are you with me? Let's do eight. Yes, waking up the Wednesday. Strong breath. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful, beautiful. Sorry, I forgot to say. If you're not rocking the weight today and you just are body weight, you can punch this guy there, sort of make the arms strong. You don't actually have to hold on to anything heavy. I mean, you could, obviously, that's what I'm into. <laughs> but very nice, so a little thruster there. We're gonna now come into a, ooh, this is a little version of the deadlift that's just a good time. So if you're in kettlebell land, um, we sometimes refer to this as the cowboy. I want to find a little bit of float, but let me give you a couple options. If you're not rocking the weights this morning, you can just stick with this hinge motion and stand up nice and strong. There's still a lot of value in just finding this right. I've totally locked out my quads, my buns are squeezing, everything here very tight. Just focusing on getting that tightness, fantastic. But if you're on Team KBs, here's what it's going to look like. Two hands, either as I come up, there's a moment of float, and I'm going to set it right back down. That is a two-handed version. The really rowdy version, make sure you've got a little floor protection before you try this one. But a full cowboy here is... I'm gonna float at the belly button and switch the hand. Oh, it's such a good time! The belly button, <laughs> or the belt buckle, I sometimes say. Up and up, yes, just finding a moment of float. Nice and explosive. <sighs> Let's go for three more each time. <sighs> yeah! Two, two, one, and one. Sit down. Very good, we're coming to the back. How you doing in there, friends? Need a little, need a little agua, uh-huh. A little drink, a little refreshment. Not a problem, we're coming to the floor, so we, <clears throat> we did a few very slow, I am remiss to even call these bicycles, because no one bicycles like this, but sometimes referred to as the bicycle, all the way on the back. One leg is gonna shoot out Nice and strong, that same side elbow comes to the knee. Here's the crazy bit that we're gonna do. <clears throat> we're gonna switch the leg and then double the crunch. So if I were here, I switch the leg and then crunch in one more time. Switch the leg, stick it, right? And then crunch in. Switch the leg, one crunch. Switch the leg, one crunch. Make it really snappy. Sticky, rah, nice and powerful here. Switch it, crunch it, switch it, crunch it. Yes, switch and crunch, switch and crunch. Two more, each side, switch, la da, switch and crunch. Last one, boom, ba boom, boom. Oh, the burn. Hello. Good morning, core. Good morning, core store. All right, body weight style. <clears throat> Let's come back to that single leg. So we've warmed up our balance a little bit. If you're still feeling wobbly, take this easy. There's, uh, there's no shame in putting that other foot down as you need to. Uh, even your trainer might have to do so in the process. But here's what we got rolling here. I'm going to come down for that single leg, and then I'm going to see if I can either hop up or just find the balance. Your choice, whether we hop it up or stick it. You can also alternate. That's a fun thing to do. Make a sense? Single leg, holding on to that balance. If, um, if being on a single leg does not feel um, available this morning, start with a split stance. And just think about transferring the weight back, transfer the weight forward, transfer the weight back, 
transfer the weight forward, but try to find a moment of balance that feels like a little bit of challenge for your Wednesday friend, but I'm gonna come down here, woo, get a little hop. We're gonna go eight each side, bum bum. Hopefully my bunny doesn't do too much traveling. There's four, five, yes, six, seven, eight, nine, and, oh, I said eight. I'm <laughs> Again, first round, maybe we're just warming up. Maybe we're just finding that first bit of balance in your Wednesday morning. Going for eight, here's four, up, six, seven, and eight. Ha ha, power, so powerful. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So we're keeping it real simple. Just those four moves. Little thruster, little cowboy, a little crazy double bike stuff, and some single leg. Hopping, hinging, all, all favorites. <laughs> Grab some water. We're gonna get into round two. So at any time, as I advance this, and you wanna dial it back down, um, do the version we did in the first round. Stay baseline. There's no reason to get crazy unless you would like to. So we did this thruster either, either with the arms shooting overhead or with some weight. If you're feeling rowdy, if you're feeling zesty and you're ready to get into a full squat thrust, I'm gonna say either two-handed or one-handed. I'm gonna show you the one-handed version, um, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna balance it out on each side, of course. But um, choose, choose something that makes sense for the weight you have, or the no weight that you have. Also fantastic. But a full squat thrust now, if you're with me, coming up to standing. Um, of course, you could do this with dumbbell. I'm gonna bring it up to the rack position. Dun, dun. I apologize, my head's gonna go off camera here. <laughs> but coming into a squat now, and sitting that way all the way overhead, I'm using momentum. <sighs> Tiny little lock out at the top, and then squat back down. 10 total, or five each side. <sighs> yeah, boom, rah. so good, so good. Squat, rest. If you're doing one arm at a time, just bring it over to the other side again. Rack position to start. Nice deep squat. Use the momentum here. Two, la ha. Three, four, and back. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, how are we feeling? We did it. We're coming right back to that cowboy. So again, you could stand body weight. Just focus on pulling up the kneecaps, locking out the hips. You can do a two-handed version. Just find a little, woo, find a little air, right back down. Find a little air, right back down. <clears throat> but if you're feeling rowdy, transfer up the belt buckle, cowboy deadlift. I'm still focusing on finding that moment of flow. Here's four, five, yeah, six, seven, Ten. Feeling zesty. You, you gave for ten more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and deadlift. <laughs> Love good deadlift, friends. All day, every day. Even on Tuesday. Mostly on Wednesday. Just kidding. Literally every day. Oh dear, we're breathing heavy. <laughs> Let's come back onto the floor. This wicked bicycle double crunch. Again, um, you, you could be sort of a loose noodle and not get a ton out of this, but I want you to really think about it. Each time you extend that foot, do it fast, shoot it out, lock it out, and stick it. Opposite elbow to the knee. So switch it and crunch, switch, 
and crunch real snappy. Boom, boom, switch, crunch, switch, crunch. Really hold that crunch in for a beat, then switch it. Crunch, yes, switch. this morning. <laughs> Maybe you just needed to feel like a human. I promise you. We're st we're st we're still doing this. We're still 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 on planet Earth as far as I know. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But I'm going to come into a nice squat thrust. Again, 10 if you're holding it together. If you're if you're doing a two-handed squat thrust, your weight's at the chest, in that squat, <sighs> cinder overhead, or if you're feeling like a boss, loading one side, right? Benefit of loading one side, get some nice oblique stabilization. Oh, sign me up, oblique stabilization every day. So I'm gonna break this up five and five. <clears throat> if you're on the two-handed version, I'm gonna give you something sassy at five. <clears throat> so pay attention. <laughs> what happens at number five? Don't worry, it's not too crazy. But let's bring that weight up. Nice deep squat, center overhead, using momentum. Two, three, four, and five. Keep her up, here's your extra. We love a slow negative. Imagine you're pulling this weight down so slow, so slow, so slow. For three, two, one. Bring her all the way to the ground. Shake her out, even if you're doing two-handed version, you can take a little rest here, and we'll get five on the other side. Squat, thrust, hey, hey! Hi, what's up, Wednesday? We're almost done with this shit. Let's just bring it up to the rack position. Nice deep squat, use that momentum. Keep the ribcage down at the top. Use your abs, keep it solid. Four, was that four? That was maybe four, here's five. Keep it up, deep breath, and then I'm gonna pull it down so slow. Make it like 10 seconds. Can you make it for five, maybe four? Totally, three, two, and let it go. Oh, ah, ah, a little wild from the top. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> So that's the last time we'll do this. Um, coming back to our cowboy, switching at the belt buckle. Let me know if 
this makes sense. Is that making sense for you? Oh, do you, do you need a little water? Need a little water break there? <laughs> oh. Cowboy deadlift, finding the float. If you got some weights. Um, I've never actually tried the transfer version with a dumbbell. That seems somewhat precarious. But if you did have a dumbbell here, dun -dun, I would hold it. I would hold it by the, I always call this the, the dumb. Hold it by the dumb. <laughs> but you can still see if you can find that little bit of float. So it's, it's so powerful from the legs. I'm not actually curling anything. It's just, the arms are just uh, guiding her, guiding our sweet bit of weight uh, straight up and down. You ready for this? You ready for this? Cowboy deadlift. Um, it seems like a lot, but it's 10 each side. 10 each side, same as last time. Finding that little bit of float. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Use the breath. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, cowboys, yeah! Sorry, that was loud. <laughs> sorry, sorry, all of I think we scared, scared off the kitchen. Oh, so good. Just two more moves. Two more moves and you will have moved your body for the Wednesdays. We're so proud of you. You showed up, you have done it. Onto the back. Take your time, take some water if you needs it. But I'm done. Just gonna get this thing out of the way. <sighs> but coming onto the back. Coming onto the back for that. I was gonna say it's sweet. But let's be honest, it's a little sinister. Nice long leg, opposite elbow, comes in and then add that crunch. Make it really sticky, snappy. Yes, switch. And crunch, switch, and crunch. Really hold it up. Boom, boom, yeah. Switch, crunch, switch, crunch. So good, friends. Switch, crunch. I know it's fire. Boom, but it's only one ab move. I mean, it's two ab moves and one ab move, but we're knocking it out here. Boom, ba boom. Three more each side. Boom, crunch, switch. Crunch, I love you, switch, crunch, switch, crunch, last one, switch, the crunch, switch, and crunch. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, strong core, friends, very strong core. We're gonna end on the fun, fun times. I think balance is fun. Um, do try to reserve judgment. If you're feeling wobbly, just blame it on the fact that it's very early in the morning. <laughs> and you'll be so much more stable the whole day because you started out with a little balance challenge. But of course, keep it on the ground. You don't have to hop. But if you're with me, let's hinge down. Drive the knee up 10 times. Each leg. Here's three. Four, yes, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Um, I, I, t I tend to use my good side to, <coughs> to, to boost my confidence. <laughs> Some people like to use their non-dominant first just to knock it out. And then finish strong. Neither is wrong. Neither is wrong, but do play with it. It's fun to mix it up now and then if you always go to one side. Your last move, friend. Ten of these little single leg hop hops. You got this? You got this? You with me? Final time. Hinge it long. Drive it up. Long. Take your time here. If you're not going at my pace, it's totally fine. Just go for ten. Boom. Five already. Ta. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You did it! You did it! You got out of bed! Gotta go! Breathing heavy! <laughs> Fantastic!
We did it, eight o'clock on the nose. Excellent work, friends. A little bit of oxygen, a little bit of perspiration. Ah, um, lovely to have you all, as, as always. Um, thank you for joining us on the Banana Dominatrix Show. I'm sure she has a name. I'm sure she's the character from somewhere uh, that I should credit. I just thought she was great. Um, anyways, we're, we're, our, our goal for Friday is to be outside um, at least this week. I, th I think we'll, you know, as soon as it gets cold, I'm gonna bring Fridays back on the regular. But I'm toying with what the third class <laughs> is gonna be. Maybe it'll not be a live or something, but um, send, me, send me some messages. Send me some DMs, send, send me some uh, screenshots, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'd love to hear your feedback or I'd love to hear um, more of what you guys would find helpful. If there's a time that's better, if you're watching this replay and you're like, oh, I just can never make this 7.30, blah. Um, maybe an evening thing is more of the play. But if you're here in Santa Fe with me, we are gonna do a park workout tomorrow at uh, Liragoita, if I'm saying that correctly, park. It's just a chill, it's a really chill park. There's not a ton of people there. That's really the main reason for using it. It's nice and spacious and it's, it's close to the house. So if you have resistance bands, bring that resistance band. If you have a kettlebell, bring a kettlebell. I'm gonna just have options for everybody and we're, we're just gonna have a good time. We're gonna be social, we're gonna be humans. We're gonna see each other's faces with other faces and, and enjoy this beautiful fall weather while we have it. Again, that's tomorrow. I'll be there by five. If you have a real job and you can't make it until 5.15, fantastic, roll up 5.15. That makes me a thrilled. <laughs> Um, there will be no, there will be no whips, I promise. Um, <laughs> I love you friends. I will see you at the very least um, on Monday, 7.30. Yes, yes, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Great rest of your Wednesday. Um, be good to each other out there. People are on edge and they just need a little compassion. I mean, they need, we need a lot of things, but <clears throat> We can start with compassion, perhaps today, just a little. All right, friends, I'll see you next time. A 